Welcome to the Gospel in 40 Days for Lent. I'm your host, Kennedy Hall. This is day two. And today we're going to read, again from the Dewey Reams 1899 American edition, chapters four to six of the Gospel of Matthew. And just before we get started, as a reminder, I am going to Italy this November with a group on a pilgrimage. There are still places available. You can go to kennedyhall.ca slash Italy. Families are welcome. Couples are welcome. Single people are welcome. It is a traditional Catholic pilgrimage in the heart of the old Roman Empire. It's going to be wonderful. You can visit kennedyhall.ca for more information on that. Um, And I hope to see you there. All right. Matthew chapter 4 to 6. Chapter 4. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights afterwards, he was hungry. And the tempter coming said to him, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Who answered and said, It is written, Not in bread alone doth man live, but in every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, and set him upon the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, that he hath given his angels charge over thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest perhaps thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again the devil took him up into a very high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. And said to him, All these will I give thee, if falling down thou wilt adore me. Then Jesus said to him, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, The Lord thy God shalt thou adore, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil left him, and behold angels came and ministered to him. And when Jesus had heard that John was delivered up, he retired into Galilee, And leaving the city of Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, on the seacoast, in the borders of Zabalon and Nephtalim, that it might be fulfilled which was said by Isaiah the prophet, Land of Zabalon and land of Nephtalim, the way of the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee, of the Gentiles, the people that sat in darkness hath seen great light, and to them that sat in the region of the shadow of death light is sprung up. From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Do penance, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus, walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he saith to them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to be fishers of men. And they immediately leaving their nets followed him. And going on from thence he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee their father, mending their nets, and he called them. And they forthwith left their nets and father, and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and every infirmity among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they presented to him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments, and such as were possessed by devils and lunatics, and those that had palsy, and he cured them. And much people followed him from Galilee, and from Decapolis, and from Jerusalem, and from Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. Chapter 5 And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set down, his disciples came unto him, and opening his mouth, he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after justice, for they shall have their fill. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, 
for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they that suffer persecution for justice's sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when they shall revile you and persecute you, and speak all that is evil against you untruly for my sake. Be glad and rejoice, for your reward is very great in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets that were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt lose its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is good for nothing any more but to be cast out and to be trodden on by men. You are the light of the world, a city seated on a mountain cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but upon a candlestick, that it may shine to all that are in the house. So let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Do not think that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For amen, I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall not pass of the law, till all be fulfilled. He therefore that shall break one of these commandments, and shall so teach men, shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But he that shall do and teach, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you that unless your justice abound more than that of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to them of old, Thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say to you, that whosoever is angry with his brother shall be in danger of the judgment, and whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council, and whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. If therefore thou offer thy gift at the altar, and there thou remember that thy brother hath anything against thee, leave there thy offering before the altar, and go first to be reconciled to thy brother, and then coming thou shalt offer thy gift. Be at agreement with thy adversary betimes, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest perhaps the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Amen, I say to thee, thou shalt not go out from thence till thou repay the last farthing. You have heard that it was said to them of old, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say to you, that whosoever shall look on a woman to lust after her, hath already committed adultery with her in his heart. And if thy right eye scandalize thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee, for it is expedient for thee that one of thy members should perish, rather than that thy whole body be cast into hell. And if thy right hand scandalize thee, cut it off, and cast it from thee. For it is expedient for thee that one of thy members should perish, rather than that thy whole body be cast into hell. And it hath been said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you that whosoever shall put away his wife, excepting for the cause of fornication, maketh her to commit adultery, and he that shall marry her that is put away committeth adultery. Again, you have heard that it was said to them of old, Thou shalt not forswear thyself, but thou shalt perform thy oaths to the Lord. But I say to you, not to swear at all, neither by heaven, for it is the throne of God, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shalt thou swear by the head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. But let your speech be yea, yea, no, no, and that which is over and above these is of evil. You have heard that it hath been said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, not to resist evil, 
but if one strike thee on thy right cheek, turn to him also the other. And if a man will contend with thee in judgment, and take away thy coat, let go thy cloak also unto him. And whosoever will force thee one mile, go with him other two. Give to him that asketh of thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not away. You have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, and hate thy enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them that persecute and calumniate you. That you may be the children of your Father who is in heaven, who maketh his Son to rise upon the good and bad, and reigneth upon the just and the unjust. For if you love them that love you, what reward shall you have? Do not even the publicans this? And if you salute your brethren only, what do you more? Do not also the heathens this? Be you therefore perfect, as also your heavenly Father is perfect. Chapter 6 Take heed that you do not your justice before men, to be seen by them. Otherwise you shall not have a reward of your Father who is in heaven. Therefore, when thou dost an alms deed, sound not a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be honored by men. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when thou dost alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doth, that thy alms may be in secret, and thy Father who seeth in secret will repay thee. And when ye pray, you shall not be as the hypocrites, that love to stand and pray in the synagogues and corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But thou, when thou shalt pray, enter into thy chamber, and having shut the door, pray to thy father in secret, and thy father who seeth in secret will repay thee. And when you are praying, speak not much as the heathens, for they think that in their much speaking they may be heard. Be not you, therefore, like to them, for your Father knoweth what is needful for you, before you ask him. Thus, therefore, shall you pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our supersubstantial bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For if you will forgive men their offenses, your heavenly Father will forgive you also your offenses. But if you will not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive you your offenses. And when you fast, be not as the hypocrites sad, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash thy face that thou appear not to men to fast, but to thy Father who is in secret, and thy Father who seeth in secret will repay thee. Lay not up to yourselves treasures on earth, where the rust and moth consume, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up to yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither the rust nor moth doth consume, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where thy treasure is, there is thy heart also. The light of thy body is thy eye. If thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be lightsome. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be darksome. If then the light that is in thee be darkness, the darkness itself, how great shall it be! No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other or he will sustain the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I say to you, be not solicitous for your life, what you shall eat, nor for your body, what you shall put on. Is not the life more than the meat, and the body more than the raiment? Behold, the birds of the air, they neither sow, nor do they reap, nor gather into barns, and your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not of much more value than they? And which of you by taking thought can add to his stature by one cubit? And for raiment, why are you solicitous? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They labor not, 
neither do they spin. But I say to you that not even Solomon in all his glory was arrayed as one of these. And if the grass of the field, which is today and tomorrow is cast into the oven, God doth so clothe, how much more you, O ye, of little faith! Be not solicitous, therefore, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewith shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the heathen seek, for your Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. Seek therefore first the kingdom of God, and his justice, and all these things shall be added unto you. Be not therefore solicitous for tomorrow, for the morrow will be solicitous for itself. Sufficient for the day is the evil thereof. This concludes Day 2 of the Gospel in 40 Days, read for you by Kennedy Hall. If you enjoy this, please share this and like and subscribe to this wherever you're listening to it or watching it.